right, so we're on page 11. I'm sorry, not 11, 12. Thank you, Linda. And we're going to do examples for segment addition. All right, we're gonna do some examples that you're gonna see on your test. This is what they're gonna be like. You'll also have a warm up to do so you can practice so everybody can get it done and make a good grade on their test. Remember, if you, you're not gonna fail this class for the do nows, the exit tickets, the warm ups. You're gonna fail because you don't take the test, you fail the test or your journal. Okay, those would be reasons you would fail. So, if you failed the first test, okay, the only way to fix that grade is you, I'll replace it with test number two. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, we talked about that already, but someone asked me today. So, all right, please draw this. You're gonna see this on your test. I want you to get it right. Yeah, on Wednesday for your class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mike. Anytime. So we'll review more on um, Monday and Wednesday before you take your test and today. All the things that we do today, you'll see. Okay, please copy. Now you're gonna have to turn in this set of notes, page 12. What I'm gonna do <clears throat> is walk around, give you checks. Um, remember the checks count for extra credit. The checks count for extra credit when you turn in your work. If you turn it in, you copy everything. It's a hundred and then it's plus however many checks you get. So I'm gonna walk around, give you a red check if you can label it correctly. So that means from A to E, you label 18. From E to D, you label seven. From B to E, you label three X. From A to B, you label six. So label right here, like on page 11. If you do it correctly, when I walk around, I'll give you a red check. So try it. <clears throat> I'll walk around, give you a red check. As soon as you're done, put your pencil down and I'll go to over there. I'll give everybody a chance. I'll try to look at everybody's paper uh, for a red check. Done it so. Yeah, where's the 18 though? 
correct so let me and not correct so let me help you out a b that means from a to b what do i put right here rockstar huh? from a to b 13. exactly then linda from b to e uh-huh 3x now this is the part that some people had wrong that's why i want to show you um so the last part from B from E to D is how long, Shirley? Uh, e D. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now this. Be careful with this one because some people didn't have this one. The mm -hmm. e, A E. Yeah. Make oh. sure that you show me this whole, from A to E is eighteen. Now it's fine if you did eighteen here. It's fine if you put the six up here, the three X up here. I could have put the seven here, right? It's just, it's fine. And you just can't put the seven here. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, the first thing you're gonna see on your test is they're gonna show you a picture and it's gonna say, is this correct? If it's not correct, tell me what's wrong with it, okay? So that's why I show you that because you'll have it on your test. All right, so it's time to write an equation. There's a couple ways to do this. There's at least two different ways. Now, the first way, um, you don't have everything. You have to figure something out first. You can use the whole entire thing, or you can cover this up and just look at this part, okay? If you want, you can just look at this part to write the equation, because you have everything. If you use the entire thing, you have to figure something out first. You can do that but um, you have to figure out something first. So again, you can do it this way because you have everything, you have all the numbers there, or you can use this part. So I'm gonna walk around for a green check. Um, I'll give you a green check if you can write an equation. So we can solve for X. Okay, green check for the equation. As soon as you're done, you can put your pencil down. Yeah. Okay, do I see pencils down? Yes, pencil down. That means you're done with the equation. Yes, Luis, you are? Okay. I put a check. Once I put the check I'll, and it's correct, I'll ask you to solve it. You have them in the wrong order. Okay. Solve it. 
sanitizer it looks like everybody like didn't do this part which is fine someone said you have to use the seven you don't have to use the seven i can use this okay i can use this right here so i have two pieces and i put the total this is like what we did right rookstar okay so tell me one of the pieces here please rookstar okay. Brooks, are, can you tell me one of the pieces? Yeah. Tell me. Eight. Sorry? Uh, Not eight. There's no eight. Six. Belkis had it. Six. Tell me another piece, Linda. Three uh, X. Now, what's the total? Can you tell me the total, Ashley or Shirley? Uh, what's the wait? What's the whole thing, Ashley or Shirley? How much is the whole thing? Yeah, so that should be the equation. That should be the equation. Now I'm gonna walk around, give you a yellow check if you can solve it. Yellow check for solving. So some of you already have it. I'm gonna start there and work my way around. Yellow check if you can solve it correctly, please. Um, I can't see it. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Eventually, 
You will have to do this by yourself. So I hope you can do this by yourself. Now, okay, I'm gonna try to show you this again. Look up here, look up here, look up here, especially if you didn't get the yellow check. Because you'll have to do some more practice and I hope you can get the yellow check later. We're solving for the X. There's no X on the side. We're gonna cover up the X. So what do we have? Can you tell me, Rookstar? What do I have on this side? Six. Okay, so there's no seven. Some people were doing minus seven. There's no seven. So you're gonna do minus six. Okay, that's zero minus six. Linda, can you tell me 18 minus six? 12. Okay, it is 12. All right, then you have three X. Okay, what's in front of the X, Shirley? Sorry, what's in front of the X? What number? Right here. Right here. What number? Yeah, oh, okay, sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay, we're gonna divide everything by three. So 12 divided by three, four. That's what you should have gotten. Now, what I'm gonna have you do, there's two ways of doing this. This is for a blue check. You're gonna find how long um, B E is. Now, there's a couple ways to join this. We B E is here, yes? B E is 3X, right? Yes. We know what X stands for. That's one way. The other way, you know that the whole thing is 18. This piece is six. So how much is this piece? So pick one of the ways, but you're finding B E. Let me show you again. B E is 3X. I X is not right now. We don't know what that number is. If we just write X, but now we know X is four. Mm -hmm. So you can replace the X with the number and get the answer. Or the whole thing is 18. This part is six. Take away six. How much is left over? It's one of the two. It's pick the way that you think is easier, but put it right down. Find B E. Put your answer here put the work and then I'll give you a check. Okay, there has to be some kind of work and then I'll give you the check. Find BE, how long BE is. Can't be three X, I need to know the number. Oh. Okay, put your pencil down once you have it. You have some work to show me which way did you do it. Or if you did it a different way, that's perfect too. How long is BE? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Getting wrong. B E is only three X. Please stop talking, Mark. Stop. You didn't get it, and I want to help you do better on your test. All right. B E is three X, right? So three is three. Now, what does X? At this time, teachers, uh, please escort your seniors to the auditorium. Please escort your seniors to the auditorium at this time. Okay. X is four, right? So in place of X, you're going to put, no, you're not, sweetheart. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, in place of X, you're going to put the four. So then you just have to multiply three times four. What do you get? Well, now that's one way of doing this. I'm really surprised no one did it. I think the other way is to each their own, but I think it's easier. That's one way. You change the number for the letter. Some people were doing six at six and three X. BE is only three X. Now look up here. <clears throat> I think this is, I don't know. Okay, this whole thing is 18, right? Right? This part, the whole thing is 18. So if I take away the six, take away is what? Minus, plus, divide, subtract. Uh -huh. Yeah, minus. If I take away the six, how much is left? Well, yeah, I don't know that you don't think that's easier. Minus four. Minus four. No. What are you talking about, Ruxar? No. Ruxar, where are you getting eleven? There's only there's only the number eighteen. This number is six, you take it out and you get 12. Okay, I have no idea where you're getting 11 or the other numbers. Okay, moving on, last check. Purple check, last check for this problem. You're gonna find AD. AD is from A to D, AD, last chance. For, I mean, this is the last purple check, the last check of this problem. And then we'll do a new one again. All right, A, D, from A to D. I'll put a purple check on your paper. From A to D, excuse me. A, D. <laughs> okay, purple check. You can do this one. All the numbers are there from A to D. Purple check. Hey, put some work. I won't give you a purple check. The work. Yeah, tell me what you got The work. Mm -hmm. And then purple check. There we go. Purple mm. check. Same thing. Pretty nice. You got some work. Thank you. Move it up. Move it up. Up. Mm -hmm. Nice. Take a book. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thing, yes? Yeah. Okay, how much is the green part? Ruxar, how much is the green part? Three. Eight. Brittany, can you help her? Look, how much is the green part? Eighteen. Yeah, it says 18. That's not funny. When you when you're failing and you have to take a test on Wednesday, to me, that's not really funny. When it says 18, now this one, it doesn't tell you, but when it, if it says six, it's six. That's not funny. All right. Okay, Linda, how much is the other piece? Right here, how long is this one? Okay, 18 plus seven? 25. That was it. I don't know how that was hard. <laughs> Wasn't this eight? Wasn't this one eighteen? This one seven. Eighteen plus seven. All right. Next problem. Seven. Next problem. Oh, Lordy, Lord. Okay, next problem. If you didn't get a purple, I mean a pink, a red check before, I hope you get a red check right now. That means you're doing better. Kenneth, Janet, I hope if you didn't get the red check before, you get the red check this time because you want to get better. If you didn't get the yellow check, hopefully you get the yellow check this time. You need to get better and better each time. All right, so for this one, GH, so between G and H, you're gonna put two X plus three. Between L and K, you're gonna put nine. Between G and K, you're gonna put 23. All right. So label for a red check. If you didn't get a red check before, please get a red check this time. Label from G. I'm just putting my hand sanitizer there so I can like hold the paper. From G to H, 2X plus three. From L to K, nine. From G to K, 23. Okay. Once you have it done, put your pencil down, please. Label so you can get your red check. I'm hoping everybody that didn't get the red check the first time that you'll get it this time. No. All righty. I'll start over there with David. Put the letters. Something's wrong. The point is wrong. Great job. Good job. Good job. Um, no. From G to H is two X plus three. So where's T? Where's H? So this, so this is two X plus three. Everything else is wrong. But at least you're trying, which is good. Mm 
Okay, last pass, last pass for your red check. Yeah, you can do the next, but don't do, don't do the next step just yet. Okay, let's try another one. Hold on. From L to K is nine. Where's L to K? Erase. Erase. I heard you, but just wait, please. Where's L to K is nine. I can there we go. You have one more to do. That one. I can do it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do the equation just yet. I have to play something first. One more work, sir. You can do it. Linda, 23 is wrong, but everything else is good. Linda, you're getting better. All right, I see. Everyone here? Red check, red check, red check. No. All right, very good. Y'all are getting better. Okay, so. Okay, um, first thing. G to H. From G to H, you're gonna put this right there. Mm. 2X plus three. From L to K, L to K, you're gonna put the nine, good? Yes. Now, the whole from G to K, from G to K, that's 23. That's the part that some of you are missing. Now, it's not there right now. You will see it on two questions on your test. You're gonna see something like this. Actually, I'll do this marker. Do you see those? It looks like the number 11. Everybody see those, the blue things like this? Those are called tallies. So circle them, they're called tallies. Everyone say tallies, tallies. All right, what they're very, very important in this class and we will talk and use them all year long. What they tell you, if there's the same amount, that means that they're the same size. They're the exact same size. If they're the same amount, like this one has two, this one has two, that means that they're the same. They are the same. They're the same size. So if one has, to, they both have one and one, and one's 12, one's 12, that means that they're both 12. If they have three and three and one is 20, that means the other one has to be 20. That's how we say that in geometry. That's how we show that. If they're congruent, if they're the same size, then we put the tallies. Okay, so they're the same size. I know they don't look the same. I know they may not have the same like right now number, but they are the same number, okay? So if this one's the same as this one, for a green check, I'm gonna walk around, can you write an equation? If they're supposed to be the same, please write an equation. They're the same, they are equal. Huh? Oh, we don't know what's in the middle. We have to solve this piece right here. No, no, she says, why you put the other one? It's not 11, it's a tally. It's a tally, son marcas, they're markers. That, if this one has two, it's not the number 11. If this has two, this has two, they're the same. So like, for example, Okay, if you have a triangle, right, and these two are the same size, you can put one tally, one tally, they're the same size. So if this one's eight, the other one has to, has to be how long? Oh, eight. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look like eight, it doesn't matter if you don't think it's eight. If they have one tally and this has one tally, they have the same, 
this one has to be eight. Now, this one, if it has two tallies it, or three, maybe it's a different number. Do you get it? That's what they mean. Okay, so now, good question, Brittany. Glad you asked. What you're gonna do is make an equation for this one and this one. If they're the same, they are equal, make an equation for a green check finished. This one's the only kind we haven't done before. Oh gosh, yeah. Close your journal. I'm not quite. You're only using those numbers, not 23. There we go, you got it. Close your journal. Oops, tell me when it's not exactly Brittany. It's okay if you don't get this one. Kind of take a little bit of like logic. Not quite. Okay, last time I'm coming around. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Okay, let me show you Linda so close. Okay. Technically, Linda, yours is correct. Linda, yours is correct. It's not, it's okay, hold on. Ready? Okay, they're equal to each other. So this, it doesn't look like it, but this, because it has the two tallies, this one has the two tallies, they're the same. So I'm gonna put the nine here. I'm gonna put this one here, two X plus three. They're the same. They're the same, they're equal. So now for a yellow check, please solve. For a yellow check, please solve. For a yellow check, please solve. Like the one we did before. If you didn't get the yellow check before, I hope you get a yellow check this time. Look at the other one, it's almost just like it. You'll have one like this on your test. Okay, it looks like Ariani is finished and maybe some people We don't want to do minus two x. We don't want to do minus two x. Good. We want to move the one that doesn't have x. No. What do you? No. Uh-uh. Where'd you get nine? If you put minus six, where'd you get minus six? There's no minus six. Minus three. Rockstar, what do you have? Okay, so obviously, if you didn't get a yellow check before, let's get a yellow. Oh, Linda, doing better, but you don't look. It has to look like this 2x plus 3 equals 9. Okay, last. No, it's not that one. Look, it's this one 2x plus 3 equals 9. Okay, last time for yellow. Everyone got yellow, yellow? Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to be having my last one. Three, 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 because it doesn't have the X. All right. I'll let Louise finish explaining. No, go ahead. Finish it. Finish. If you want to finish, explain to her. Okay. Now, this is the conversation we keep having. Okay. Um, you will see this later. So 
Which one should I move, Linda or Rookstar? Should I move the 2x or the 3? Which one? Yeah, we don't, Kenneth. If we're solving for this one, it's going to take more time if you move this one. So we want to move the 3. So it's a plus 3. Shirley or Ashley, how do you move a plus 3? You're going to do what? Negative. Zero minus 3. Negative. Six. There's no negative zero. Two x equals six. Um, can you tell me, um, Bill Keys or Luis, the last step? What do I do next? You divide by the two because it's in front of the x, and we want to simplify to one, so x equals three. All right. Crap. All right. Blue check. Are we on blue check? Yeah. Okay. I hope this one's the easiest. I'm not going to wait a thousand years. I want you to tell me how long. There's more than one way of doing it. But now I want you to tell me GH, like the other one that we did up here, remember, right? 3x, we know x equals 4. If you want to replace the 3, the x with the 4, you can do it that way. There's another way. It's kind of more obvious, maybe. Okay, you're finding gh. How I need the number for gh. Find gh. I think it should be like, oh yeah, hello, super easy. Or you can also solve for it. G-H, G-H. Yeah, you can do it that way. That's a little bit longer way, but sure. Maybe that's a little bit longer way. Okay, sure, that's a longer way, but I'll take it. Yeah, that's a long way, but I'll take it. G-H, perfect, a long way, but I'll take it. Now, because G-H is two X plus three. You did two. way which I, I don't know you'll have to help me understand why but okay right here everybody did it the long way you did 2x plus 3 the whole you have to copy it do you see how this says 2x plus 3 you can't just do 2x you have to do the whole thing all right 2x plus 3 all right so you put 2 is 2 x is 3 So two times three is six, six plus three, nine. That's one way, this is the long way. The easy way, um, Sonia, can you explain the easy way? No, it's even, it's even easier, say again. They're the same. They're the same. If this one's nine and this one has two tallies, it's gonna be what? The same, nine, that's all, that was it. If this one's nine, this one has to be nine. It doesn't matter what it says, that one's nine. Because it has two tallies, two tallies, it has to be nine. Get it or no? 
it has the two tallies. It just has, to, it doesn't matter if it says this, it's not. Because the tallies. I can go through. Yeah, this one has two tallies. This one has two tallies. That one's nine. That one's nine. It doesn't matter. Okay, so next, last one. Last one. Find HL. Okay. HL. Kenneth, can you explain? Can you say in English or can I say the next part? Do you want to explain? No. Okay, okay. If I, I thought you had something to ask or say. All right, so the whole thing is 23, right? This piece we know is already nine. We did that. This piece here is nine. You're finding this one in the middle. How much is the one in the middle? You can make this super hard if you want to, or you can make this easy. It's up to you. Well, don't say that loud. I, put, I need some kind of work, and then I'll, you'll get your last check, purple check. No, I promise you, it's this, don't make it hard. You're finding HL. <laughs> what brooks are linda three. no not three Five. there's no three here honey it's minus we're taking this away take away minus how much right here linda what number nine. this nine. is nine nine i don't know this one brooks are jeez oh ashley or shirley how much is here Minus nine, and you're going to get five. All right, get to Canvas. Get to Canvas, please. We're going to do.